Oh man, look at all the salt getting washed away. Clear skies. Thursday and Friday is supposed to be really nice and uh, might get some raising in. And welcome back to the channel. Today, it's a good day. I got new wheels with the new tires and we're gonna mount these puppies. So let's open them up, bam. These are uh, 15 inch wheels, uh, they're aluminum. They're supposed to be 19.6 pounds per wheel. Uh, it's a 10 inch wide rim. And it's supposed to be a replica of the factory wheel. Now the sheen on the wheel is odd because of uh, their aluminum. So that's something that I'm gonna have to learn to live with, I guess. And the design's a little bit different as well, but it is a lighter wheel. It is the right width. So I won't be eating tires like crazy because uh, let me see if I can show you here. There's plenty of thread here, but if you go to the middle, it's already to the wear markers. So yeah, now we won't be having those issues, especially with these tires that have that already come close to the wear markers to begin with. So yeah, uh, and da da da. Oh, there was another layer of stuff. And da da da. Chappelle. That is just sweet looking. So that cap already comes on. Supposedly you can lift the, ooh, you can lift the wheel from the cap. That's awesome. And uh, hopefully somewhere under there, there's a set of uh, lug nuts. So let's get this out. Oh yeah. Look at these sticks. All right, I don't want to mess them up. So let's put them down in something soft. Thing of beauty and here is the lug nuts which uh, seem to be and they thought about everything there we go lug nuts and about them Have you ever noticed that when you want to use that thing, it just takes forever to fill up? So anyway, we're gonna start this by putting the valve stem on. Um, this is actually, I think the hardest part, unless the tire doesn't really seal around this, but uh, this, tire, this rim is actually pretty easy to mount because the bead actually will drag on this. So anyways, so I'm gonna put this here. And the way we're gonna do that is by just getting it a little wet here if you care about the wheel you're gonna put a rag there so you don't scratch it and now they make a tool where you take the cap off you screw it on and then pull it done you don't scratch your wheels well I'm improvising and this is what I'm gonna do so just like that now I need to find a good, a good spot so you guys can see this I'll be right there Bam. Yep, you guys can see that. So, turn that, grab it, and make sure the tip's in there. And just done. It's in. Actually, oops, there you go. Now it's in. And so that's what it looks like in the back. Actually, can you even see that? It's a lot of black, so. But yeah, so that's done. Your next step is to get your tire. Now, <clears throat> these are directional. So this tire, the face has to be on this side, on the left side, because that's going to be the right side tire now. And uh, just to double check, see right there, to the right, this one's left. So that's passenger side, this is going to be driver's side. And yeah, actually grab your little wet rag. Hold on, 
There you go. That way you guys can see better. And then this side, same thing. Just uh, get the whole bead wet. Here's my wheel. Actually, it's easier if you, on these at least, it's gonna be easier if you mount it that way. Get to flip the tire. Left side to the front. Now this is the easy side. You just use your body weight to drag it around. Make sure the bottom is up on that lip. So it gives you play on the bead, just like that. Now this is the hard side, and you'll see that I'm gonna have to chase the bead around this whole thing, so. So you start by getting this piece of bead right under this lip. So you can see here, there's a lip. You get this caught here. And that way that'll hold that end and then you're going to use your knee and your arms all the way around. a good point so this side is gonna be stuck because it's because it's catching under the bead so then that tells you that you can do the other side easier and then bam just like that now you can see there the valve stem is caught on the bead this will make it a little easier Just like that. Now, the next part to make it easier for yourself is gonna be to push the rim into the rear bead because the top it has a taper. So the top closes, closes the bead on its own. Now the back doesn't. So you wanna get this bead kind of stuck on this edge. And holy crap, I'm running out of breath. But this is easy. Just like that. Now, once you have the bead caught on the back, here's where the bucket comes in. Put your bucket down. Hmm, this is gonna be hard to do one-handed, so. All right, so here we go. Just like that. Now that that's up there, you can take your cap, grab your little tool, and you take that off, and it comes out like that, put that to the side, now I'm just going to get enough air in there until it holds air, and then I'm going to put the valve back on, fill it up to 30 pounds, and that should be done, so let me try to do this one handed, if it doesn't work, put you guys down and you guys can just watch it pop. Just like that. Come on, you can do it. Bam! So this just got really hard because the tool is there the camera in my hand and I'm holding it with that hand so here we go and done so anyways I have to wait for that compressor to uh, turn off because I'm pretty sure that you couldn't hear me so all I did was just put the stuff away uh, now I still gotta fill it up to 30 pounds 
and put the cast back on and then take it to get balanced uh, sometime later this week. Dirty in the dot. So that's it. Like I was saying before, uh, now all, the, all these tires need is to be balanced, which I'll do later this week. Um, <clears throat> I do have to warn you though, uh, this only works with bigger profile tires because they're soft and pliable. Um, if you have low profiles, don't even think about it. Unless you have like a steel rim, then you can use uh, pry bars to get it in there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's kind of your warning there. Also, when you're doing this, make sure that you're not holding onto the edges of the rim because that bee will crush your finger, probably cut it off. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, if you are looking for a tire mounting video, I hope this helps you. Um, again, uh, later this week, I'll be uploading the downpipe video. Uh, some uh, wiring for the relays and uh, line lock and uh, hopefully this Friday I can also get some footage where uh, these are going to get put to the test so I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe hit that like button and share this with anybody that may find it useful